Here's another question which looks at finding the reaction forces acting on a bar in this case which is tilted at an angle and then there is a roller support and also a string which creates tension. So again this is the kind of question that you would get in your first couple of lectures as a first year engineering student whether you're doing something like civil or aerospace or mechanical engineering. So if you'd like to see anything similar to this on the channel, let me know in the comments. So in this question, there are essentially, I would say three supports, but then there's also that string that goes between A and B, but the question is only asking us to find the reaction at C, the reaction at A and the tension in chord AB, right? So uh, this should actually be, uh, this is a more straightforward question than it might look because all you have to do is draw the free body diagram, okay? So if you draw the free body diagram of the bar, it would look like this. So you'd have the bar and then, so this is bar AD, which looks something like this. And then this is tilted at an angle of 30 degrees. And this bar has a certain weight. And that weight is going to be acting downwards from the center of, from the geometrical center of the bar, which is in this case at 0 0.5 meters away from either end. So it's 0 0.5 meters away from here. And that would be acting in this way. Okay, so this force is going to be the mass times the gravitational acceleration, but for G, I'll just use 10 meter per, meters per second squared just to simplify things a bit. So this would be a force of 250 Newtons. Right, now that's point G, and then we've got a few other forces acting. So in terms of the roller support, so the roller support only takes uh, in this case, um, can only withstand a vertical reaction force, right? So we have this going on. So we have uh, RA, and I'm not going to bother with RAX, RAY, because the roller support only gives a vertical reaction force, which is just RA. Now, in addition to that, we have another reaction here, which is, that's the normal reaction due to C and I'm gonna call that N. Now, keep in mind that C doesn't actually provide a tangential component like this, because that would actually be friction related. Whereas the problem says that the bar is supported by a smooth peg at point C. So in other words, there is no friction going on. And the other thing is that we've got this uh, other, force which is a tension and that string has an orientation of uh, 15 degrees with respect to the horizontal so that's 15 degrees here and the orientation of the bar is 30 degrees okay so the first thing to ask is can we actually solve this so we've got three things to find we've got n we've got r a and we've got tension and the answer is yes, we should be able to do this because we've got three unknowns and we have three equations. So the equations are going to be the sum of forces in the x direction is equal to zero, sum of forces in the y direction is equal to zero, and sum of moments about any point, for example, about point A is going to be zero. So those are the three equations. Uh, the only thing left to do is to try and define your uh, what's vertical and what's or what's the x and what's the y so you could do something like this where you take x to be along the bar and y perpendicular to the bar that's perfectly fine but the way i'll do it is just using the classical approach where x is to the right and y is upwards like this which means that we'll have to decompose some forces in their horizontal slash vertical components. For example, we have N, which is acting at a 30 degree angle with respect to the vertical direction. 
and we also have tension which is acting at a 15 degree angle with respect to the horizontal direction so let's see in the first instance we have sum of force in the x direction is zero meaning that we have to look at all the forces that are acting in x or that have components in x and there are two of them so there's tension uh, who, uh, whose component is t cosine of 15 degrees so i'm talking about this component right here so t cosine of 15 and then we have minus n sine of 30 right so that is the horizontal component of n so we have t cos 15 we have n sine of 30 and that's it and this is equal to zero uh, i would write down the values of cosine of 15 and sine of 30 so uh, cosine of 15 that is going to be roughly 9.96 uh, minus n times one half and then and then this is equal to zero and i'll just leave it like this for now so this is my first equation the second equation says that the sum of forces in the y direction is equal to zero all four forces have a vertical component so we have ra on one hand by itself then we have the tension which has plus t sine of 15 degrees then we have minus 250 which is the weight and then we have n cosine of 30 which is the normal force so that's plus n cosine of 30 and that is equal to zero so we've got ra we've got plus t sine of 15 degrees so i'll just write that down and that's going to be approximately 0.2588 minus 250 plus n and cosine of 30 is going to be square root of 3 over 2 or it's approximately 0 0.866 so i can rewrite that as ra plus 0 0.2588t plus 0 0.866n is equal to 250 so that's the second equation And then we have one more equation which is related to moments so if we take moments about a i think that's a good idea because if we do that then the tension and ra are not actually going to produce any moments about point a so we just have two things we've got the moment due to this weight and the moment due to n and that's going to be one equation with one unknown and it's going to allow us to find what n is so in this case we have a moment which is clockwise due to the weight so that's going to be minus so we have the weight which is 250 uh, times the moment arm which is this distance so that's 0 0.5 times cosine of 30 And then we've got the moment due to n, which is counterclockwise. So that's going to be plus n multiplied by, so this is 0 0.5 until the center, and this bit here is 0 0.2. So in total, we're going to have 0 0.7, and this is equal to 0. So the first part is going to be 250 times 0 0.5 times cosine of 30, which is minus 108.25 plus 0 0.7 n equals 0 so n is going to be 108.25 by 0 0.7 so this is 154.64 newtons approximately yeah this uh, this n stands for the normal force and this n stands for the units for newtons okay so we're done with that which means now we can go back to equation one and find the tension so that's going to be t times 0 0.966 and then we have minus 154.64 
uh, times one half of times 0 0.5 and that is equal to zero so the tension is 154.64 times 0 0.5 divided by that and this is 80.04 newton so that's the value of the tension in the string and finally we go here and find uh, we go to equation 2 and find what ra is so we have ra equals so i'm gonna try rearranging this straight away so we have 250 which was the weight and then we have minus this so minus 0 0.2588 i think it was uh times the tension which is 80.04 so 80.04 and then minus 0 0.866 times the normal reaction force which was this so 154.64 this is just number crunching at this point so this is uh 80.04 times 0 0.2588 so this is minus 20.71 minus 154.64 times 0 0.866 so that's 133. almost 92. so ra will be 250 minus 20.71 133.92 so that's 95.37 newtons so that's ra that's the tension and that's the normal reaction force and that's the end of the question